So we're Precious Plastics Monash. We're a group of students dedicated to recycling and reusing plastic as a precious resource. Um, in front of you, you can see some of our products that we make. We're unfortunately, we had to pack up everything to go to a home show on the weekend, so it's a bit unorganized at the moment. But these are some of the things that we make. Um, you can see our Lego bricks that design to get the most amount of plastic into a permanent structure, for, such as a house. Our, our beams, um, our coffee trays, our various different jewelries, uh, keychains, uh, as well as many other things. Um, as well as making products, we focus on educating um, the community, such as school groups, um, uh, community organisations, on how people in the community can better uh, recycle their plastic, both uh, hard plastics and soft plastics. Uh, so the main plastics we use are PP, HTP, uh, PLA. Uh, these come from things such as bottles, uh, milk bottle lids, and uh, 3D filament, uh, 3D printing filament, um, which is a big source of our plastic at the moment. My name is Yan, I'm the team lead of Monash UIS or Monash Uncrewed Aerial Systems. Essentially we build drones, big drones, small drones, the blue one coming through. But, um, we've, got quite a lot we've got quite a lot of flying at the moment. and like, yeah, parts of drones. So essentially the entire thing we do is promoting uh, humanitarian uses for drone technology. Uh, in the previous years we used to do a competition in Queensland about medical express, so they'll give us a challenge to build a system to solve some sort of medical problem or medical assistance problem. You can see some of the models that we've been working on over there, those are the current ones. Matthew, how are um, you, mate? Thank you. I'm the flight systems section lead at Monash HPR, so we're kind of responsible for deployment. Um, you can see workshop is a bit all over the place at the moment. Uh, we're getting ready for a launch this weekend up at Serpentine. We'll be launching Project Ether, which is our 30,000 foot entry into the Spaceport America Cup. The test fly, you can see it there on the on the bench, all laid out with foam blocks all over it. You're welcome to come by and, and have a look if you like. Um, carbon fibre airframe, um, which was a, a very new thing for us, required a lot of new manufacturing techniques, um, and will be our biggest launch in, in years. Um, so a really exciting time for the team. Um, it's been an awesome experience for all of us to, to kind of apply everything that we're learning at uni and, and really experiment with some new kind of technologies as well. Um, and then obviously going over to America and and hopefully meet a lot of other teams, uh, a lot of industry as well, um, and demonstrate what we have to offer. Traditionally, a lecture theatre would be um, one-way traffic, right? You'd sit passive, listen to an academic. What we're trying to do here in the 360 room, it's named 360, by the way, because it accommodates 360 students, is have a bit more of a two-way conversation. So you can see students are clustered around these desks, and the desks you can ride on um, during the course of a lecture students will be given an activity that they need to undertake to reinforce their learning and they will do that collaboratively um, in this space. There is all sorts of image capture technology where um, academics can write on the pods, they can write on those boards, those whiteboards, and then um, the images get projected um, across the bank of screens that you can see at the back there. So it's really, uh, I suppose, a, uh, a new world lecture theatre. So this extends the capability of the maker space at Monash for our engineering students. We've got the design and build studios here. And there are obviously a range of capabilities including banks of 3D printers. We've got hardware and software IT capabilities in the next uh, space. We've got a large CNC machine at the back and other capabilities. So um, you can see the students are uh, in their uh, prototyping exercises and, and getting their models together.